Hey everybody, Chef Eric here, the Grateful Chef. Welcome back to the kitchen, the Grateful Chef kitchen. Hope you're all doing well, hope you're safe, hope you're healthy, hope your families are well, and thank you as always for uh, trying for joining us on these little Facebook Lives. Doing a lot more than we used to because of the uh, quarantine, which is perfectly fine by me. I hope you're getting a lot out of it. I hope it's taking up some of your time, and um, I hope you are learning, because I sure am really cool uh, so today we're doing a playing in the kitchen with chef Eric we probably should have called it baking in the kitchen with chef Eric which is weird because I don't normally like bake so um, I chose something because I saw a uh, recipe that's been going around by um, Baker by nature she does awesome baking follow her on Instagram it's really cool. She did. She showed a picture of this cheesecake that she made. So that's what we're going to be doing in the Grateful Chef Kitchen today. So it's not technically baking wherein you're using flour and, and all that stuff. But it is baking because we're putting it in the oven to bake. So hopefully, I uh, mean, I saw this thing and I just could tell by the way it looked that it was super creamy and super awesome. And that is what we're going to do. So, yeah, we're going to get right to the cooking part because this is a cooking show. So as always, I have my recipe for when I don't have the recipe by heart, which is cool. So I've got a large bowl here. First thing, what you want to do, you want to take your nine-inch springform pan. I sprayed it lightly with some spray, all the sides, the bottom, and then I wrapped it in a double layer of heavy-duty foil. This way, you're, when we put it in our water bath, the water's not going to get inside. Very important or anything, especially cheesecake. So we are going to do water bath. So the first thing we want to do is, and the important part of cheesecake is the crust, graham cracker crust. Graham crackers, melted butter, sugar. How could that be bad? Very straightforward. So that's what we're going to do right here. Of course, I'm using my prep deck that is proven once again to be an invaluable tool for me in my kitchen. So I've got my cream cheese here. I've got my cracker crumbs, my sugar, I've got the eggs that I'm going to need, my cream, some more sugar, some vanilla. I got the melted butter in here because I put it in my microwave to melt. So uh, yeah, and prep deck, thumbs up. And all of the cream cheese. Yeah, Grateful Chef approved, 100%. I love it. You want to know about it? Go to eatingwithchefarrick.com, click on the link. It'll take you to the site. You can you know purchase it right from there. And uh, for, you know what? For the price, it's it's a great deal. It really is. I think it's one hundred and nineteen dollars right now. Well worth well worth the price. Um, all right, let's get going. So we are going to do this. Is uh, it called for two cups of graham cracker crumbs? So I just obviously bought graham crackers, and I hear you can buy crumbs now. But I put it in a food processor pulsed it till it was nice and fine. There's a little bit more than two cups because I figured the worst thing that can happen is I'll have a little thicker crust down on the bottom of graham crackers. That's not a bad thing. Going into our large bowl, into that I am adding, I believe this is a third of a cup, I'll look at the measurement on the side, quarter of a cup of white sugar. And this there's seven ounces of butter that I melted in the microwave. In it goes. I may have used the whole stick. Probably did if I know me. And we're going to mix it around. Get it nice and moistened. Nice. Now I have my oven preheated at 350. Because once we get this nicely mixed, we're going to put it in and we're going to bake it for eight minutes. And while we're baking it, we're going to make our filling. Mm. Yeah, I love. I don't like sweets very much. I mean, I do occasionally have some M and M's or, you know, various and sundry Mars candy because I love Mars candy. Oh, um, you do, honey. That's I awesome. do. Um, especially the European stuff. <laughs> what was was that a call out to our European friends? To yes. Bring us chocolates next time. Please. We're um, all right, so we've got this. It's packable like sand. Perfect. We're going to go put this into. I'm going to come in close on that. Come on in. I got a glove on just because. 
So it looks like sand, yeah. nice and loose, but when I pack it together, it holds together. Nice. nice. Perfect. Love it. Make sure I didn't forget anything. Yeah, I'm good. All right, so we're going to make our crust. And my guess is that in that oven, this is going to toast up and get a little dark brown. And then again, when it's baking. All right, let's put it all in. Why not? We're going to live on the edge. Beautiful. I was contemplating what can I use to kind of pack this down. I'm going to use my hand. And I'm thinking, what do I want my final cheesecake to look like? Do I want the crust to come up on the sides a little bit? Do I want it to simply be on the bottom? I think I'm a bottom guy. I don't necessarily want it coming up the sides. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to even it out as best I can with my hand. How thick is, how thick is it on the bottom? It's pretty thick right now, but I think I'm going to compact it down. Because I'll say, if you're not putting it up on the sides, you're going to have a really thick crust and a lot less cream cheese. Okay, so here we go. So here we go. I'm, I'm a Grateful thief. Chef is learning once again. I would take some out. Okay, take some out. That's you just, heard it. That's She's just, the boss. That's just my personal preference. I'm going to take some out. And I can always add some back in. How about that? Yeah. All right. So let's let's get it loose again. I'm going to go around, make sure it's nice and even, and tap it down like this. Sorry for the noise. All right, see, Lynn is more of a baker than I am, so I am taking direction. I will always take direction from wherever it comes. All right. What I think I'm going to do is... I'm going to get crazy. I have a little glass measuring cup here. So I think I'm just going to use that to oh, great idea. kind of tamp it down. Go around the edge. And I love the aluminum foil trip. Oh, yeah. Because that would be disastrous if I got water in here. So don't trust the spring form 100%. You know, make sure it's... Kevin said you could eat that crust all by itself after it's baked. Oh, yeah. Seriously. I could eat it right now. Yeah. It doesn't even have to be baked. Graham crackers and butter. And sugar. My graham crackers aren't sweet enough. All right. So there we go. I'm trying to get a gauge for how it feels in the center, because I don't want the center to be too light on crust. Hard to tell. You need that tool the landscaper was using to see is it is it level An or not? Excavator. Oh, the the leveling the laser beam. the yeah. laser beam. Yep. Very cool. All right. You kind of feel it a little bit. All right. There we go, guys. That's going to be good enough for me. So. Smooth it out a little bit with my glass here. Good. All right. One last tamp down. So I got really excited about the fact he was making cheesecake. Then I remembered how long it takes to set. Yeah. So this we're we're not eating this cheesecake today, but that's okay. It's a tomorrow cheesecake. Yeah. There are we have a hundred tomorrows. At least. At least. All right. We're putting this in the oven. I'm hoping for more than that. Eight minutes. All right. I want to move my rack down. So, and Glory, Glory Marconi said, Glory Marconi said she's a cheesecake guru. Nice. And she said that uh, she uses shortbreading a crust. Oh, that's great. That's awesome. And I, I love can that. See idea. how that works. Yes. Love, love, love that idea. All right. This is going in our oven 350. Because I'm a huge fan of shortbread. Next one. Hey Google, set a timer for eight minutes. All right. There we go. Now we're going to go work on our filling. Got out my trusty, actually Lynn's trusty, because mine is white. 
And glows on camera. And glows on camera. Okay, so now we are going to add five. That's right. Five bricks of cream cheese that are at room temperature. Put them all in here. Yeah. You can tell I don't have my baking feet. All right. In go the bricks. One more. They're nice and soft. And we're going to start beating it. I've got our whisk attachment. We'll start slow. We've got Michael Lugata, he's good afternoon, Dave Mark Garcia, a bunch of other people out there. Hey guys, welcome to Baking in the Grateful Chef Kitchen with me, there are guys in the Grateful Chef. <laughs> Alright, we're whipping. So, we added the, we want to make this cream cheese completely smooth, I'm going to have to scrape down the sides, I'm going to make it this, this, the, the, Smoother you make it now, the smoother your cheesecake's going to be. So this is all just cream cheese right now? Just cream cheese. Nice. All right, there we go. I've never seen that done before. What happens is when you lower it, it gives it space to whip off the yeah. the whisk. Oh, it's right I'm going to scrape sides one more time. And then we're going to add to this. Tomorrow's episode will be eating cheesecake. Yes, eating cheesecake with the Grateful Chef in the Grateful Chef kitchen. Yes. Nice. We should use those maraschino cherries. Oh, absolutely. So, uh, All right. Now, we are going to add, mm -hmm. this is so heavy cream, we're not adding that yet. We are going to add sugar, copious amounts, cup and a half. The only thing with cheesecake, the only problem with it mm -hmm. on camera is it's white. white and all your ingredients are also white. Cup and a half of sugar, two Ooh. teaspoons of vanilla, that See, not glow. everything's white. That doesn't glow. Okay, we're going to do this until it's smooth. You can see it's definitely smoothed out now. Ooh, keep doing that. already my instinct is telling me not to like whip it to death just want it nice and smooth what does Gloria think what does Gloria think all right so we're gonna add the eggs so what we're adding here is 
Oh, I need a couple more eggs, honey. I need three more eggs. I miscounted. So what we're going to add here is, is it going to five large eggs okay. plus three yolks. We're adding them one at a time. Is it going to matter that they're not chilled? No. Are they all chilled? Yeah. Whip it good. Devo. Devo. Who said that? Gloria. 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 We, 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 we asked how, how well you should whip it. Whip it good. Okay. Alright, I won't sing. So I've got three more eggs because I'll need yolks. Scrape down the side. Oh yeah, it's so smooth. It's like velvet. And that's only on egg one, right? Yep. Alright. All right, egg number two, and I'm leaving on the edge, but because these eggs are at room temperature, they crack really nicely, really easily, so have some paper towels, please. Hey Google, stop the timer. Go check our crust. Darken a little bit, not as much as I thought. That's okay. Come over and take a look at it. Yeah. Let it go another minute. It seems a little soft. Looks beautiful. Yeah. And let it go for two more minutes. Hey Google, set a timer for two minutes. All right. One more egg. And the really cold ones. These are eggs from Oriana. Pardon? These are eggs from Oriana. Oh, nice. Okay. Now, I'm going to separate these eggs. I only need the yolks. And if these were at room temperature, they would separate much easier. I can get less white, but hey. One. And the Oriana eggs are super rich. Like the egg yolks are really rich yeah. just because they were far, nice, far really, fresh. Uh, she's got her own chickens. There's three egg yolks. I went in one. The 
Sweden. Beautiful. Two. Mm. Yeah, so I really don't want to incorporate too much air in here, so we're going slow. And one more. Boom. Done. I'm going to scrape. Then we're going to add our cream. Come on. Hey, Google. Stop the timer. All right. Now, gorgeous. Oh, my God, that smells good. Mm-hmm. All right. There we go. We scrape. Oh, you can tell that this batter is rich. Oh, got five pounds of cream cheese in there. All right, that. We are going to add our heavy cream. It's a half a cup. And we just want to incorporate the heavy cream. You're doing really well with that mi mixture since you don't bake it. Oh, I know not to stick your finger in there. Good tip. All right. Nice uniform color. One and done. All right. Take this off. Beautiful. I'm some hot water, so I'm going to turn my sink on. Get some water hot. Alright, here we go. So, All right, we are pouring the filling into our prepared crust. Stephen Clark said, what you cooking today? We're making cheesecake today, buddy. Mm. That's some extra, honey. I'm going to have to make a little mini. So that's why we didn't fill up the bottom crust? Yes. So I got a little crust left. So I'm going to give it a quick tap, get rid of any air bubbles. And that's going in here. A little water bath. It's in one specific way. Fantastic. Got some hot water. What I always found nice with my water bath is that I would actually put my pan into the oven first. Yes. And then pour water in there. Is that what you're doing? We can do that. That way I don't have to walk to the oven with my pan and spill the water. Fantastic. See? Brains. That's clearly the brains of the operation. All right. We're opening our door. We're going to put the pan in. It says two inches of water. So, hot water. Not two inches? Nope. Nope. A little more. That's two inches. Fantastic. All right. Oh, yeah. That's going in. All right, so this is going to bake for an hour and 15 minutes. Hey, Google. So what are we doing? Hey, Google. Do? Set a timer for one hour and 15 minutes. What are we going to do? Just Stand here and talk for the next hour and 15 minutes? Yeah, let's. So you want to show them the cherries? Sure. I just want to make sure I got this right. So after an hour and 15 minutes, I'm turning the oven off. 
and we're going to let it sit undisturbed for 45 minutes in the oven. So an hour and, 15, awesome. hour and 15 and then another 45. Yes. So what I'm going to show you is uh, this is definitely something that warrants being one on the uh, on our website, uh, favorite ingredients. These are the real maraschino cherries. So we all know these. We all know these. They are bright red. Shirley Temple City right here. Beautiful. The real maraschino cherry is Luxardo. This is um, an Italian product. The original maraschino cherries, completely different. They're used for cocktails. A lot of bartenders are using these now. Um, the company's been around since 1821. And let me show you what these things. There's, they're really interesting. It's a completely different texture. These are actually whole pitted cherries. They're nice and small. If you can see this. Oh yeah. They're sweet. They're amazing. And what's really amazing is this syrup right here. Oh, it's so good. Over cheesecake, over ice cream. Over uh, brownies. Over brownies. In I your mean, cocktails. This is absolutely amazing. In a drink with a fizzy you know, um, maybe a little bit of, uh, you know, club soda with a little bit of the cherry and I don't know what else. Vodka. Vodka, whatever. You know, it's delicious. Absolutely delicious. So I look for these. Actually, Whole Foods has them, right? Uh, we buy them at, uh, I don't know about Whole Foods. We buy them at Fresh Market. Fresh Market has them, but I think I saw them at Whole Foods and they're actually cheaper at Whole Foods. Oh. So, yeah, they might be in the cocktail area where they have mixers and stuff like that look for this and you know what it's worth the price so one market it's 20 bucks the, the I think Whole Foods it's 16 dollars it's worth the price these are so much better if you're buying these it's worth the price to buy these that's it we're gonna put these on our website that's it decision made so anyway we're gonna let this uh, cheesecake cook I want to again thank you guys for joining me we'll see how it turns out and um, are we going to see later today how it turns no, out? No, I'm going to show you tomorrow because after it sits 45 minutes in the oven while it's turned off, then i got to put it in the refrigerator or let it cool down, put it in the refrigerator for eight hours. So tomorrow we'll come back and we'll talk about the cheesecake and, uh, you know, we'll refer back to this video to refresh your memory. So anyway, yes, Lynn, I'm before I do that, Grateful Chef sign off. I was saying cheesecake for breakfast? Perhaps. It's cheese. This is good for breakfast. Absolutely. So anyway, guys, you know we love you. We feel the love coming back from you. So be well, eat well, be kind, be nice, love each other because we are all we've got. And we will see you in the next Grateful Chef video. Peace.